with Chris Cooper from Toro. Chris, um, we're going to talk about your baby. <laughs> What's One this then? Come on. So this is our new E-Pro Stripe uh, rear roller rotary mower. Um, we're launching it here at BTME concurrently with FS SFMA in Orlando, Florida. Um, we're targeting this machine to sports and fine turf applications, really primarily to groundsmen who want to remove divots and debris off the pitch after training sessions or games, cutting in new pitches yep. and cutting on wet pitches. So the focus for this is providing what all the groundsmen want at the moment, electrification, yep. so no engine emissions, and also lightweight to help remove compaction. And this is the only mower in its class with the electric power. There are petrol variants of this product and competitors, but there is no other electric machine below 34 inches. And the beauty of that is it's nice and light. So as the groundsmen try to avoid compaction, lightweight's Absolutely, the answer. Yeah. So when you actually started developing this, um, this was in response to what, a need for electrification or I think you were telling me there was a, an engine being withdrawn. Yeah, so we launched our petrol machine uh, in 2018 uh, on this platform and had really good success with it. But then as the pandemic hit, engine manufacturers started to sort of look at their product lines and we started to see a number of engines become obsolete. And then we got the dreaded phone call that our engine was being made obsolete. And it was like, oh, okay, what do we do? And we'd always thought that electrification would be the way forwards, yep. but we didn't know whether we had the capability to do it on such a wide platform and um, in such a, an application where runtime is a key requirement. So we didn't know how successful it could be electrified, but we didn't have an option as the engine had gone. So lo and behold, we start developing the electric solution only to then find out <laughs> the engine's being continued for a number of years yet. But we thought we put this prototype, what well, we put a prototype out with some groundsmen who have been very supportive of our project. And the feedback was so good, we thought, well, we're on to something here. We need to continue pursuing it. And a couple of years later, here we are going into production later this year. So this will be ready for people when? Uh, looking at the summer. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing a pilot build uh, in mid to late spring, um, which will give us a number of demonstrator units to talk to people, such as you know FIFA, UEFA, groundsmen across the world. Um, and then once we get all our external safety testing done, we're in production and away we go. So can't wait. Chris, fascinating to keep up with you on these. And no. you know, what's next on your to-do list? Oh, too much. Is that? Too much. Yeah. Oh, I can't going to give anything away. Are Monday. You? <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Cheers, mate. Cheers.